Good evening, church. I just wanted to uh, jump on here and uh, give you a video of uh, just some praise reports, really, and some things that are going on. First of all, I want to say thank you for Sunday. Uh, I thought it was a very good uh, attendance for our first online service. Uh, there were over 550 views, either on Facebook or YouTube. And I know that some of those were just a real quick, you know, somebody clicked on it and Heard the hillbilly preacher and went on to somebody else. But uh, Jewel said that the traffic on our our website and on uh, Facebook pages were highest that they had ever been. And I believe that a lot of those people did stick around and they uh, they uh, worshipped with us and they heard the message. And a lot of people have watched it after that. And if you haven't seen it, you can go. Um, probably the easiest place to get to it is just from bloombaptist.org and click on the live stream. It's right on the main page there. And you can listen uh, and, and join us for Sunday service last week. Um, Sunday was supposed to be Invite Your One Day, and I was a little bit disappointed about not being able to, to do that and not to be able to have a big service, but I think we had that. Uh, we were just online. And, and so I'm going to ask you to do that again. I know that we've postponed that or rescheduled Invite Your One Day to May 3rd, and keep thinking about that, and keep keep that in focus. Uh, who knows if we'll be able to do that then, but that's kind of what we're planning now. But you can invite people to join you this Sunday uh, at bloombaptist.org. You can go to YouTube and just do a search for Bloom Baptist Church, and uh, there'll be, uh, you'll find that there, and just if you uh, subscribe to that, that's what they call it, and you can uh, even Click on notifications and you'll know when we put something new up there. Or you can go to the church's Facebook page and you'll know how to do that. Uh, I want to also thank you for giving on Sunday. Um, we had, our offering was actually better than budget by, uh, the giving was at 127% of what our budget should have been. And I just think that's awesome. Uh, that shows your faith in God, shows your commitment to give to the church, your love for the church and what God's doing here. So we thank you for doing that. I hope that you'll continue to do that as long as um, we're out and not able to be meeting together. You can do that a lot of different ways. The easiest way, again, to do that is go to the church page. And as you go down, bloombaptist.org, as you go down the left side of the page, you'll find a tab that says to give. And then on that page, if you just click give there, you can put in your information and that'll work. If you'd rather do a check, uh, you can mail that to uh, P.O. Box 121, Lithopolis, Ohio, 13136. And some of you did that. Thank you for doing that. That that was awesome. And uh, that says a lot about you as a church. Um, so a couple of things you need to know, I want you to know, is that uh, we have some things going on for the children. You've probably already seen that. Um, Rebecca and Jesse have developed a, a new uh, connection tool for our kids. I think this is going to... This is really awesome. I think it's going to be something that continues even uh, after we're able to go back to church. But they call it Bloom Kids Treehouse. It is a blog, which is a you know, interactive written page. You can find that at bloombaptist.org. Click on Ministries. Scroll down. You'll see Bloom Kids. And then on that page, you'll find at the bottom uh, Bloom Kids Treehouse. There's a podcast that goes along with that. It's available on Spotify right now. I think it's going to be on other platforms uh, very soon. Uh, but Rebecca did that and did just did an awesome job. In fact, I think Kathy listened more intently to Rebecca's podcast than she did my sermon Sunday. You'll have to ask her about that. But they did a remarkable job on that. Your kids are going to love that. And I would encourage you to jump over and uh, look at that. And if you have any questions, there are, there's been a couple of emails that I sent out that had those links in it. And you can maybe check your inbox and you'll find that. Jesse's also working on a, a card writing project that you'll be hearing more about. But for kids to write to, to older folks and older folks to write to kids. And I think that's real exciting uh, as well. And then for our youth group, Bobby is developing some online lessons and activities for the youth. And they'll know how to get a hold of all that stuff. Uh, he'll... Um, He'll uh, kind of broadcast that in the channels that the kids are going to use more. And so your kids will know how to, to get that. If they don't, you can uh, call or text Bobby and, and he'll be able to get that to you. Uh, our small groups, Sunday school and small groups, um, are going to continue. Some of our small groups are using some, um, some uh, tech, high tech, I guess, uh, ways to communicate. Zoom, I know uh, our ladies group use Zoom. Some may be using Google Hangouts or other things. Some are just using uh, written blogs. 
Uh, some are using video lessons. And so I would just encourage small group leaders, Sunday school teachers to stay in contact with your class. Uh, and if you need help using one of those platforms, uh, you can contact myself or um, or Jules, and we'll be able to maybe maybe help you do that. Jules will, especially, but I'll, I'll do all I can to help you uh, use some uh, different technologies in order to stay connected with your class. Um, tonight's Tuesday, so tomorrow, Wednesday, we're going to be uh, sending some uh, different things. So you want to call this midweek encouragement. It's a way for our uh, church to stay connected. Tomorrow, David Sells is going to be uh, doing a, a short message just about uh, worry and fear and, and those kind of things. He did a great job on that. And so we're going to send that out. And then as uh, as this goes on, hopefully it's not real long, but we're going to be sending some short uh, video devotions and, and uh, prayer times from different people in our church just to kind of let you see each other and see different people and to be encouraged uh, that way. So that'll be called Midweek Encouragement. And uh, I will do my best to send you uh, notifications and emails with links and ways that you can find those things as well. And again, all those things will be uh, uh, available. Uh, at least there'll be a link available on the church website or uh, the church Facebook page and those kind of things. This video, you'll also be able to find it on YouTube. Um, a couple things real quick and ways that you can help or if you need help. Um, so I uh, spoke with uh, Fairfield County Mills on Wheels uh, this week and uh, just was thinking about that. I was uh, talking with the police chief in Lithopolis and he was uh, just fearful that a lot of their volunteers are older folks that may not be able or shouldn't even really be out in, in this time doing that. Uh, and so from uh, so I called them and from them I learned that if you would like to come and help pack Mills, you can do that. Um, before you come uh, to do that, you will. they will take your temperature. They want to make sure that everyone there is safe. And so they'll take your temperature. Uh, and if you would like the, a group, uh, maybe your small group or your family or whoever would want to do that, uh, you can call them or you can call me and I can get you in touch with them. Uh, again, they're just, that's just packing the meals. They're going to take your temperature. You'll pack the meals and uh, help them get ready and you'll be uh, gone. If you'd like to deliver those meals, then... Um, You'll need to complete an application uh, that they'll have to run, obviously, just to be safe. They have to, to do applications. And if that's something you think you would like to do, I have that, and I could forward that application uh, to you, and you could uh, help out that way. And that would be to deliver the meals around uh, to different people. Um, and so let me know if that's something you or your family or maybe your small group would be interested in. Obviously, you're going to have to do the social distancing thing as you're uh, as you're doing those things, especially if you do that as a small group, uh, just make sure you're healthy and you feel good before you uh, volunteer uh, to do that. Now, if you need something that we can help you with, if it's shopping, if it's, you know, picking up your medicine, whatever it is that we can do to help, uh, please ask us to do that. One, of, I, I believe very strongly that one of the things the church does, obviously we help each other, but part of being the body of Christ is if you need help, you allow other people uh, to help you as well. So if you need something, if you need help in any of those ways, anything you need that we can help. Hey, listen, if you need help setting up your phone or your computer or your TV so you can watch the church service, you call and we'll make sure. Uh, if we have to come to your house, we'll put a hazmat suit on and we'll come in and we'll help you do that. Most of the time we can get that for you over the phone. And uh, so let us help you do whatever it is that, that we can do to help you uh, during this time. Uh, thank you, man, for being the church, folks, for being the church. It's uh, it's awesome to be a part of the church. I miss you guys. I really do. Sunday was pretty hard for me uh, to uh, watch that guy preach on TV and not, not be able to see you guys. And so uh, keep sending those texts of uh, uh, pictures or posting pictures of yourself uh, worshiping in your living room. Um, uh, I loved seeing that. It, it, it did me good to see that. And we're going to, we're going to share those pictures, uh, pretty soon with everybody uh, somehow. So you can see those as well. Uh, so I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying healthy. I hope you're abiding by the, uh, the, the, the governor's, uh, request that we, um, that we, uh, kind of quarantine and stay, uh, inside and so uh, keep doing that read a book you know uh, sing some good praise music and uh, and just call someone on the phone do whatever it takes but let's 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 do this and God's going to do great things 
Uh, join us on Sunday, 1045, and we'll be preaching from Psalm 4610, where the psalmist says, be still and uh, uh, be still and know that I am God. And I, I love that passage of scripture, and I think it's very applicable uh, to the season that we're in as America, really as, as a world. And so we're going to talk about that on Sunday, and I hope that you'll join us, and I hope that you'll invite somebody uh, to be with us. Let me just uh, pray real quick and uh, I'll let you get back about your evening. Father God, we thank you today for a loving and a giving church, uh, a worshiping church. And even though we can't be together, that uh, we have gathered together uh, through uh, streaming abilities. And uh, we just want to thank you for that. And as people sat in their living rooms and uh, watched on their television and their computers and their phones, and I'm just so thankful for that. Father, I'm thankful that we're a giving church and that even though we weren't in the building together, that our, our uh, financial needs as a church uh, was met, that we can still take care of missionaries who many are struggling right now uh, financially. And so I'm thankful uh, also, Lord, for uh, that. I'm thankful for uh, small group leaders and children and youth workers that are developing ways to stay connected and, uh, with their students and, and to teach those lessons. Uh, and I'm thankful for them. I'm thankful that uh, that our church is a working church and they're a caring church and they're willing to connect and grow together. Father, I pray that you would help us to reach out into our community during this time to affect people with the gospel of Jesus Christ through small uh, acts of kindness and that we would continue to invite people to join, whether we're in the building or online. Lord, we give you praise. We ask you to be with our nation right now, our world right now in this uh uh, COVID-19 situation. Father, we know that you have the power uh, to stop it in its tracks. And so right now we boldly ask you to do that. Father, we pray that you would use this to draw uh, people, uh, to draw uh, a world back to you, to draw a world to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ and that lives would be changed forever because of this pandemic that we're in today. We want Jesus to get all the glory and we pray that he would. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you.